Hello friends, welcome back to my channel RNF Breathe. I hope you all are doing well. I am back again with another informative video. This video is going to be regarding Rex PN exam content. In this video, I am going to talk regarding Rex PN test plan. In this video, I will be sharing how you can utilize that test plan in order to prepare yourself for Rex PN exam and how you can crack this exam in your first try using the test plan. Friends, if you are visiting my channel first time, I will would like to let you know that I have already made a video on Rex PN exam in detail. If you would like to know what is Rex PN exam, how long is the exam and how many questions they usually ask, I will be posting the link in the description. You can go check that out as well. This video is going to be useful for any of the nurses who are looking forward in order to become an RPN or an LPN in Ontario and BC respectively. After watching this video, you are going to have detailed ideas regarding what topics you are are going to get tested during the exam so probably the first thing that you are thinking right now is that what is Rex P and test plan and how you can use it in order to pass your exam Rex P and test plan is an excellent guide in order to prepare yourself for this exam Rex P and test plan is a concise summary of the basic topics and content areas or your scope that you are going to test during your exam. So Rex P and exam divided the exam content into eight different categories and in the test plan you can have a bit of idea about the nursing activities and the nursing statements or the topics that you can test during the exam and it is a very good resource in order to practice the Rex P and sample question as well. So let's start with the PowerPoint slides in order to discuss the Rex P and test plan in detail. So the first slide belongs to exam content. As you see, the exam content for Rex P and exam is divided into eight different categories, and these categories are management of care, safety and infection control, health promotion and maintenance, psychosocial integrity, basic care and comfort, pharmacology and parental therapies, reduction of risk potentials, and last but not the least, physiological adaptation. This picture describes the person of each category you can expect to test exams during your XPN exam. So let's go over eight categories one by one in order to know regarding the topics or the content or the nursing statements that fall under each category in this video. Moving on we have the first category that is management of care in the test plan. This is the first category and it will ask you around 21% during the XPN exam. The topics or the exam content that you need to study under this category would include advanced directives, integration of advanced directives into client care plan, delegation and supervision of client care, for example, care by personal support workers, workload organization to manage time effectively, initiate, evaluate and update the client care plan. Next is provide education to clients and staff regarding client rights and responsibilities. Involve the client in decision making collaboration with the team members while providing care, support and provide learning to new staff and nursing students, conflict resolution, client confidentiality and privacy. Continuity of care by providing and receiving reports of the clients, standard documentation of care, good knowledge regarding admission, transfer and discharge procedures, setting priorities for the delivery of client care and evaluating care plan, ethical practice by following the nursing code of ethics, recognize ethical dilemmas and take appropriate actions, assessment and development of professional competencies, informed consent in order to get the consent from the client before any nursing care and procedure and to provide client education. Receive and transcribe doctor's order. Provide care to the client within the scope of practice. Report client info regarding abuse, neglect and communicable diseases by law. Intervene and reporting of unsafe practices performed by healthcare providers. Participate in quality improvement. Assess and need for rest and obtain orders. So moving on, we have the sample item. So let's discuss the type of questions they can ask you during the exam. For example, nurse is caring for four different assigned clients. You will be asked to answer what client should be the priority of the nurse in order to assess first under the four different scenarios. So let's go over the sample item. So this 
uh, source of information for the sample item is CNO and NCSBN test plan. So the question says the nurse has received the following information about assigned clients. The nurse should first assess the client with atrial fibrillation who has irregular pulse, pericarditis who has temperature of 37.8 degrees Celsius, peripheral vascular disease who has capillary refill time of 4 seconds, or end-stage renal disease who has serum potassium of 6 millimole per liter. So the right answer is given with the key here as well. And you can expect to ask questions from this category on the basis of prioritization and delegation or priority based questions. Proceeding further, we have safety and infection control. This category is going to test you around 13% of the exam content during the Rex PN exam. Proceeding further, we have safety and infection control. So this category, you will be asked the following activity statements. So make sure to go over these activity statements in order to crack this exam during your first try. So these activity statements are assessment of client for allergies and sensitivities and do necessary interventions. Educate client on safety and injury prevention, for example, in case of fall. Proper identification of client while providing care. Verify accuracy of healthcare provider orders. Participate in emergency response plan. Use of principles while providing care like proper lifting and safe client handling. Handling of hazardous material by following appropriate procedure. Identify errors and near misses and take adequate actions. Safe and appropriate use of equipment. Principles of infection control like universal precautions, hand hygiene, and aseptic techniques newborn nursery security and control access educate client and staff regarding infection control policies and procedures for use of restraints next we have uh, the sample item let's go over it so under this category they are going to ask you the questions like assessment of client for allergies and infection you will be asked to select an item that is correct response to the question so let's go over the sample item here the nurse is planning a staff education program about C. diff infection. Which of the following information should the nurse include? Client who have C. diff infection should be placed on droplet precaution. Second is after recovery from C. diff infection, clients are immune from reoccurrence of the infection. Third is item used in caring for the client who have C. diff infection should be cleaned with a household bleach solution. Fourth is after caring for a client who has C. diff, the nurse should cleanse the nursing hand with alcohol-based hand sanitizer. So the correct answer is option three. So this is how they are going to ask you the questions based on the allergies or any sort of infection. So make sure to go over the activity statements that I have talked in the previous slides in order to prepare yourself for these type of questions during your actual exam. Moving on, we have health promotion and maintenance the third category. This category will test you around 9% during the RexPN exam. So from this category, you have to read the statements related to providing care and education for newborn, for infant and for toddler, care and education for preschool, school age and adolescent clients, care and education of adult age clients from 18 to 64 year of age, care and education of 65 year and older clients, providing care and education to pregnant clients, antepartum and postpartum care, client growth and development throughout the lifespan, barriers to communication. Next, it also includes assessment of client learning preferences and readiness to learn, barriers to learning, client for health determinants and followed by interventions, assessment of client to do self-care at home and formulate a care plan, assessment and education of client regarding physician widgets and immunizations, prevention and treatment of high-risk behaviors like smoking and needle exchange, perform health assessments. So moving on, we have the sample item. So under this category, you can be asked to answer the expected 
child age related findings for example under this sample item the nurse is assessing an older adult client with genitourinary urinary system which of the following is expected age related finding the first is nocturia second renal calculi third is glomerulonephritis fourth is overflow incontinence the right answer is option 1 so this is how you will be asked to answer questions related to health promotion and maintenance by asking questions related to age related findings so just go and read your statements or the items that i said in the previous slides go over them in order to answer or crack your exam in the first try moving on we have the next category that is the fourth category of psychosocial integrity this category will test you around 11% content during the rex pn exam So this category you will be asked to assess the client for abuse and neglect and intervene manage and support client with emotional and behavioral issues assessment of client ability to cope with life changes and providing support assess client to cope with stressful events assess the potential for violence and aggression and use safety precautions providing care to indigenous client end of life care for patients and care to client experiencing grief and loss to provide care to cognitively impaired client care to the client with chronic and acute mental health disorders explore the client non adherence with the treatment plan care of client with sensory and cognitive impairment assess the client for substance misuse for dependency for withdrawal and toxicity recognize client stressors recognize healthcare provider stressors that affect client care and use of therapeutic communication techniques Moving on we have the sample item so under this category you will be asked questions like the nurse is caring for school age client they will be asking you question related to therapeutic communication techniques so let's go over the sample item here the nurse is talking with a 9 year old client who says i don't like school which of the following responses would be appropriate for the nurse to make first option is i don't like school when i was your age second is you must enjoy seeing your friends at school third is i am interested in hearing more about the feeling fourth is you may begin to like school if you find a favorite subject so the correct response is option 3 so this is how you can expect these questions and make sure to answer them wisely Moving on we have the fifth category that is basic care and comfort from this category you can expect around 9% to be tested during your exam so under basic care and comfort the activity statements would include related to educate and assist the client with physical and sensory impairment use of assistive devices and positioning of the client assess the client elimination and do needed interventions apply remove and maintain orthopedic devices like traction plant and braces perform skin assessment and take measures to maintain skin integrity measures to improve and promote circulation and venous return active and passive range of motion and anti embolic stockings compression devices and positioning and mobilization so include non pharmacological comfort measures assessment of pain and do necessary interventions perform eye bladder and wound irrigations identify the use of alternative therapies like aroma therapy acupressure supplements and their potential contraindications monitor of client nutritional status enteral nutrition assess and maintain slight care for enteral tubes assessment of intake and output of the client assess the client abilities to perform adls and take necessary interventions post mortem care and assessment of client sleep cycle and interventions in case of any issues are observed so now let's just talk about the question you might expect to be asked during your exam so under this category they might ask you to uh, answer questions related to like nurse teaching about sleep asked to choose the correct info for the client the nurse is teaching a group of older adult client about sleep hygiene which of the following information should the nurse include 
sleep. First is use of over-the-counter medications to stay asleep during the night. Eat a snack that contain L-tryptophan such as milk at bedtime to induce sleep. Third is exercise for at least 30 minutes prior going to sleep to ensure you are tired. Fourth is avoid taking OTC melatonin because it is unlikely to help with insomnia. So the correct answer is option Q. So this is how they are going to challenge you questions during your actual exam. Make sure to go over the activity statements and use that test plan in order to finding questions online. Go over the questions through the NCLEX PN books as well. Moving on, we have the sixth category that is pharmacological and parental therapy. This category will test you around 17% during your actual exam. So under this category, the statements or the topics that you need to study would include blood products administration and evaluate the client response. Observe client response to any medication. Dose calculation needed for medication administration. Providing education to client regarding medicines. Follow and proper use of medication administration right. Review of lab results, any allergies, contraindications and potential interactions prior to medication administration. Administer meds by oral route. Administer meds by GI tube. Administer subcutaneous intradermal medications. Administer meds by ear, eye, nose inhalation and rectum roots. Administer IV meds by secondary lines. Next, it would also include initiate and maintain and remove a continuous subcutaneous infusion. Medication reconciliation process. Titrate meds dose based on any assessment and orders. Handling of meds in safe and controlled environment handle and administer high alert meds and control substances, assess peripheral venous assess devices, monitor and maintain IV infusion site, calculate and monitor IV flow rate, maintain pain control devices like patient control analgesia, epidural and peripheral nerve catheters, administration of parental nutrition and monitor the client as well. So under this category, you might be asked to answer the side effects of any given medication. So let's go over a sample item. For example, the nurse is caring for a client who is receiving xantamycin. Which of the following findings should the nurse recognize as a side effect of the medication? First is vertigo, second is constipation, third is increased serum sodium level, fourth is decreased BUN. So the correct answer is option one. So make sure to go over the medications and their side effects and go over the each activity statement or the content that I said and practice questions. Proceeding forward, we have the seventh category that is reduction of risk potential under the Rex PN test plan. This category will test you around 11% of content during your exam. This would include assessment and response to changes in client vital signs, perform diagnostic testing like bladder scanning, oxygen saturation, and glucose monitoring, obtain specimens of urine, stool, and wounds for diagnostic testing, use precautions to prevent injuries and complications related to diagnosis or procedure, evaluate client response to any procedure and treatments, insert nasal or oral GI tubes, monitor continuous and intermittent suction of GI tube, insert and maintain and remove urinary catheters, insert, maintain and removal of peripheral IV lines, go for the topics like perform assessments, maintain feeding tubes, monitor client health status and recognize changes and intervene, providing education to clients regarding treatment and procedures, providing pre-op and post-op education and care to the client, manage clients after procedures under moderate sedation. Moving on, let's just talk about the questions that you might be asked under this category. So correct understanding of teaching for surgical procedures like question would be asked. So let's go over the sample item. For example, the nurse is teaching a client who had a total hip replacement by posterior approach one day ago. Which of the following statement by the client would indicate a correct understanding of the teaching? So the options are, I will lie on the operative side. I should avoid crossing my legs. 
I will begin jogging again after a week. I should elevate my affected legs when sitting in a chair. So the correct response is option two. Make sure to prepare yourself with the activity statements. Proceeding forward, we have the eighth category that is physiological adaptation. This category will test you around 9% during your RECS PN exam. Under this category, you need to prepare yourself for assisting with procedures like central line thoracentesis and bronchioscopy maintain temperature of the client monitor and maintain surgical wound drains chest tubes suctions and negative pressure wound therapy perform oral tracheal and nasopharyngeal suctioning perform wound care and dressing of the wound perform removal of the wound drain device removal of seizures provide ostomy tracheal and enteral care provide post of care to the client it would also include care of client with a permanent pacing device educate client regarding acute and chronic disease conditions maintain fluid electrolyte balance care of client with altered perfusion and hemostasis perform emergency procedures like cardiopulmonary resuscitation respiratory support and automated external defibrillation monitor sign and symptoms of complications and take necessary interventions accordingly so proceeding forward we have the last slide that is what type of questions you might expect during your actual exam under physiological adaptations so they might ask you questions related to correct understanding of client complications related to chest tubes or any other complications so under this category you will be asked like the nurse is caring for a client who has chest tube connected to a closed chest drainage system and observe continuous bubbling in the water seal chamber. The nurse should recognize that this could indicate there might be an air leak. The second option, the tubing may be occluded. Third is the suction pressure is too high. Fourth, there might be a blood clot. So the correct answer is option one so make sure to go over any client complications related topics under this category in order to answer them right so in order to use the test plan effectively make sure to go over the each statement or the each content in detail and practice questions related to it so this way you can feel confident on the day of the exam and there are higher chances that you can crack your exam during your first try so friends that was all regarding today's video regarding rex pn exam content and the rex pn test plan please don't forget to like this video leave me a comment with your queries and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon your subscriptions likes and comments keeps me motivated thank you and have a wonderful day